What's going on guys, Snipe from Scorpion here, and today I have some Oakland Raiders news. Vontae's Burfitt is out for the rest of the season, not due, due to an injury, injury, he is out due to a suspension. Sunday when the Raiders were playing against the Colts, he did a helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact to the Colts tight end Jack Doyle. It says right here, the Oakland Raiders linebacker has been suspended for the rest of the season following his helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit on Indianapolis Colts tight end Jack Doyle. He was ejected from the Raiders 31-24 win over the Colts for lowering the helmet to make contact on it on the hit early in the second quarter. So he basically lowered his head before he lowered his head just so he can do the helmet to head helmet to helmet contact so he could get the guy down. But that's a little dirty if you ask me. Now I didn't watch the Raiders game. I didn't even know this happened until yesterday where I saw it on Instagram. Now his discipl discipline marks is the longest punishment ever handed out in the NFL. So, this is a pretty big deal. He's out for the rest of the season, and I don't know if he's good or not, because I don't watch, again, I don't watch the Raiders, but he pro probably is a pretty um, key player for the Raiders' defense. Now, if you don't know who he is, um, he's number 55 for the Raiders uh, on defense linebacker, so just if you hear anything, he's 55 for the Raiders, okay? Cool. He has been... He has history of rule. He has a history of rule violations with the Oakland Raiders. It says right here, your extensive history of rules violations is factored into this decision regarding accountability measures. So he's been violating rules many times. So that caused him to get out even longer. I, I at least I think. Colts, the Colts coach Frank Reich, or I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Told reporters Monday he was pleased to see Burfik's punishment. Now this is a really long one, but it says the suspension is Burfik's fourth during this his NFL career, and the third time he's been hit with a ban for on-field incidents. In 2016, Burfik was suspended three games for, mul for multiple violations of player safety rules. In 2017, the linebacker was suspended five games for a hit to a defenseless player, which was reduced to a three game to three games upon appeal. In 2018, Beerfix missed four games for a violation of the NFL's PED policy. The linebacker has also been slapped with multiple fines for illegal hits throughout his career. So he's a pretty dirty defensive player where what it's looking like for him so it's basically saying he has been suspended for violating for a helmet to helmet contact violating many rules in his career and he's basically a really dirty player and one more thing it says NFL VP of football opera operations John Runyon said in, in a league release that Beerfick was suspended for lowering his head to initiate and make contact with his helmet against an opponent and for repeat violations of unnecessary roughness rules. He basically doesn't play by the rules, still, therefore, he's a dirty player. So, he's out for the rest of the season. He was signed from the Bengals to the Raiders this offseason, and he's, he's done, in my opinion. He's only 29, and I think he's just done. Nobody's going to want to sign him. Um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.